What's up guys, it's Craig and John with Alive Outside. John has made an absolutely awesome camper trailer that he's gonna be traveling the country with for the second time. He made a ton of improvements to it, but he is a little too modest to show us everything, so I'm gonna take you through it and make him show us. You gotta check this out. So a handful of years ago, a really close friend of mine, like a brother to me, um, he gave me a deuce and a half trailer. Uh, it was camo, it had been sitting in the woods, and uh, he gave it to me for nothing, and I, and I wanted to turn it into a camper trailer, uh, but kind of an adventurous camper trailer. So I spent, a, I don't know, a handful of months, I've been tinkering on it on and off throughout the last couple of years. Well, last year we went, I don't know, seven or 8,000 miles, a three week trip, we went all the way across country, um, all the way out, we're in New Hampshire, we went all the way out to Yellowstone, we went to Glacier, the Badlands, we just, we saw a lot of stuff. And we were a couple of days from being home and I lost the bearings in one of the axles and the, the, the hub, the tire, everything actually flew off the trailer. Thank goodness no one was hurt, um, but we ended up having to port, tow the whole thing home on a U-Haul for the last day and a half. Um, no messing around this time brand new BF Goodrich tires, a full floating oil bath axle. Uh, I just didn't want to worry about it on this trip that's coming up. So what's up front here? That you got the you got a windshield with a pretty cool sticker on the front? I'm towing this with a one ton diesel. It's good. A lot of power. And uh, I could still feel it when we were going on the highway. And out west, those 80, 85 mile an hour um, highways, we get going pretty fast in it and I could actually feel it. So I really, this year I wanted to make an improvement and give us some uh, aerodynamic, a little bit of aerodynamics to it to help out so I'm not just pushing a big flat sheet of plywood through the wind. Underneath we have a window. Um, this actually lifts up and props up and it actually provides cover. We got our Yeti coolers. I've had these for a long time. I bought these before it was cool to have Yetis. Um, some homemade boxes for storage. This is actually a, a rack that would normally slide into the, the hitch on a truck but I took that part off and just bolted it down permanently. On the Deuce and Half trailers, they come with a uh, pinto hitch, which isn't very smooth, it clunks around, so I, I, and it was heavy, so I cut the front wheel off and the front um, pinto hitch and, and welded on a standard hitch. I like this style um, because it's very clear with the ball, if the ball goes up inside and it closes and slides over, it's very obvious that it's on the ball. With the other style, with the little tongue that catches the ball, sometimes that can go up high, and the ball actually sits on top, or the, the tongue sits on top of the ball, and it looks like it's on, but it actually can come right off. These, I'm, in my opinion, this is a safer hitch for a ball. So you, when you when you got this thing, it was just the body right here, right? There was nothing above it. It was just a pickup bed, and I did a little bit of rust repair. I stripped it down, and I painted it desert tan. And then uh, I built out of wood the walls. I mean, it's actually very crude, but I, I wanted just more like a cabin feel, like something you didn't have to worry about just screwing hooks into and and uh, and you're not worrying about things breaking. So how was it held on? You got like bars going across inside, right? There's uh, there's metal hoops that came that normally would have held the canvas of the Dusenaf trailer on the Dusenaf trailer, and. Um, Actually, I used those in conjunction with a forage wagon, an old forage wagon um, for, si for haylage or silage rather. But there's hoops that go up and over and, uh, and, and I've got carriage bolts holding the wood all the way over. Plywood on the front and back. I just took a screen door and actually cut it down, shortened it and then reinstalled the screen. Um, so we have like a short man door. So how do you, 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 you hooked up a grill on the back, like an actual state park grill. This is like a no joke thing. Yeah, this is uh, by Pilot Rock. So these are the same grills that you'll see in state parks um, where you can come up, they usually pivot and you can uh, put charcoal in them. So sh show how this thing works though. So we were camping a lot with a big tent and we were getting tired of, of all the effort it took to set it up and take it down. So what I wanted to make this trailer I wanted to make it easy to, uh, to set it up. So everything is on hinges. The grill swings out. There's a table that sets up quickly. Drop the tailgate. 
go inside the trailer, grab the ladder, and uh, it's actually made from a, uh, an aluminum ladder that was doubled up with, with treads placed on it at the right height, and, uh, and it's good to go. Beyond the charcoal grill, we want to be able to quickly heat up coffee uh, and tea and, and whatnot in the morning, so we set up a, uh, a nice burner with a small propane tank, and it works really good. So show me inside, I mean, don't you get hot in this thing? Actually, we've got a uh, uh, 8,000 BTU air conditioner. It's a standalone unit, so it just blows out the window, and uh, yeah, it's all self-contained. So we are a family of four, and we wanted, um, you know, to make maximize the space for sleeping. We ordered a California King mattress from Amazon, and those come in really tight and tight roll, all vacuum sealed, and we slid it right in the door opened it up, cut it open, and expanded right here in place. Now we actually sleep 90 degrees off from how you would sleep on a California King because California Kings are extra wide and kind of short. Um, that allows us to put three people on the California King. And my youngest daughter, actually this settles down significantly. She actually sleeps in a hammock above our feet, but kind of hangs down when, when she puts her weight in it. And that's how we slept. Um, we've, we've spent a lot of nights in here like that. We put a lot of hooks on the trailer because we're always hanging up trash bags, toiletry bags, you name it, flashlights. We're always looking to hang stuff. And then we have a legitimate shovel here. And it's just because it's kind of a flash shovel. It's because we're, we're cooking barbecuing like twice a day, every day, always cleaning out the grill. So um, this is just basically a good ass shovel. Shut up, chicken. So sometimes, you know, we don't, we have no idea where we're going. Last year, we were, there were times we were, we were camping in the middle of the Badlands. We would go out into just public land where you could camp, they call it boondocking out there. Um, but we needed some shade, so we brought an oilcloth canvas. Uh, this one actually just comes from Tractor Supply, but it makes a big difference. And we didn't have air conditioning last year, so we could leave the window and the door. I could open up my screen door. This is actually screen behind here. So we could open up that and not worry about the rain coming in if we got rainstorms. So guys, that's it. Just a quick video to show you what John's been working on in projects like this. If you like this stuff, comment below and let us know because I'm always like, let's do a video about this project you're working on. People really care. They want to see it. They'll have a lot of questions and he's always like, no, no, people don't care about stuff like that. But I know you do. So if you want like a really comprehensive video about all the stuff that was done to this, let us know. And if you want to see more projects and how it's actually done, let us know because I, I, I keep up with filming this guy. But you, we're, you, uh, we're, I'm actually, I'm really excited. Going to spend some real quality time with my family. We're leaving in a couple weeks. We're going to do a three week trip. We're going across country again. We're going to head to the south. We've got some close friends in Virginia we're going to swing into. Then we're going to go out to Colorado. Uh, we actually don't know where we're going. We might end up in California. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to put this guy through his paces again. And I cannot wait. I, he's, Craig keeps asking me to film it. He does all the filming. He's the, he's the camera guy. I'm not good at it, um, but I'm going to try and take some films and it, some, some videos and at least maybe uh, document the trip a little bit. Yeah, the hope is to make a playlist of his trip. Um, so while he's out crossing the country, uh, I'll, I'll be at work. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So, hey, last question. How do you poop? Really? Lugaloo. Most of the time it's big enough. <laughs>